Max said, I wonder if you could make the most flavorful chicken ever. And I went, you know what? Not 100%, but we're gonna give it a damn good try. So we're making a grilled lemon chicken. It's very simple. There's a few things we're gonna do to make it better. One will be, we're gonna spatchcock it. You know, we've done this before. We take the chicken like this and we make it look like this. Cooks evenly, cooks faster, you get better skin. The whole thing's fantastic. We're gonna use some uh, uh, good uh, herbs in this. And in addition to the lemons of the lemon chicken, we're gonna use some lemon grass, which is pretty much a pain in the ass to use. So I'll show you my way of using lemon grass. We make a marinade, we spatchcock the chicken, we let it sit, we cook it, it's that simple. Okay, we'll start with the dry stuff and we'll add the uh, wet stuff after. We begin with about a tablespoon of oregano. Then we're gonna go with uh, about a tablespoon of fresh thyme. If you had dry, you could use it, but if you got fresh, always go with that. Next up, some smoked paprika, which you know I'm very fond of. And by the way, recipes below, don't worry about it. Cumin will follow. I said flavorful, so these are all things that are gonna really add. Some red pepper flake. Use as much or as little as you want, but come on now. Black pepper, a nice amount. Oh yeah, kosher salt, yes sir. Grilled lemon chicken would imply lemons, so we're gonna zest two of them and then put the juice of both in. Look, if you only had lemon juice and you wanted to just do that, that's fine, but the flavor that comes off the outside of any citrus is really where it's all at. I'm saying get some lemons to do this. And by the way, if you don't have a zester like this, it's, this one's called the microplane, to do this, what could you do, Max? Chop it. You don't want the white part. The white part's called the pith. The child is right. Peel it and then chop it. I would use a peeler, get the strips of just the yellow off, and then finely chop them. That's an option. If you don't have a peeler, I guess if your knife skills are really good, you could just take the yellow off because the white, you don't want that, so. But get one of these. These are great. Use them for chocolate. Use them for any citrus. And Give me the knife. That's it's not it. that hard. Pass me the nakiri. No, you want to don't use it. Huh. Just very carefully, like this. Boom! Okay, there you go. Look at that. Do that. I'll take you four days, but that's fine. <laughs> we continue with the other lemon. Don't forget what's in the channel. Get that out, because that's valuable stuff. And then the juice of both of these lemons. I mean, the seeds are not a big hassle if they end up in, but if you can keep them out, keep them out. Squeeze into your hand. Use your fingers to filter, you're fine. These are pretty good lemons. Okay, three more things. One is garlic, and I'm gonna go with like three tablespoons of minced, because we can, and we should. Olive oil, maybe a third of a cup, like that. And now lemongrass. This is what lemongrass looks like. You don't really use this top part, so you could cut that off. This little bit right here, get rid of that. And you want the inside, so you've gotta try and do this. Peel it off till you get down to like definitely more tender bits inside here to the point where you can do that. And then you're gonna do this and you're gonna cut a whole bunch, which is fine if you wanna deal with it. I don't like to deal with it, so I do this. I reach into my fridge and I get lemongrass paste and I put a tablespoon in like this, maybe a tablespoon and a half. Now you're talking, now you got easy going on here and now you just mix. The color from the smoked paprika is gonna do wonderful things, not to mention flavor. This is something I can get behind now. Okay, when you got this all done, let's deal with our chicken. Okay, but I wanna save a little back for basting later, so there, now to the chicken. Spatchcock time. That's a little three and a half pound chicken. Done this before. If you haven't seen it, it's one of the greatest ways to cook chicken ever. This is the front. Kid's laying on his back right now. There's his legs. If he could, he would, you know, put his arms behind his head like that in the resting position. Or he'd raise the roof. Or he'd raise the roof. <laughs> Scratches. Scratches nuts. <laughs> Wave to his friends. Hey, come on over. We're having margaritas. But we don't want this side. Flip somebody off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> but we want the back side, which is this. And by backside, I mean back. I don't mean that. I mean the back side. So this is the tailbone. We want to remove the backbone all the way up. You can see it's here. See this? This is as wide as it is. So we want to cut all the way down here evenly all the way down. So we take a good pair of kitchen shears. You want me to do this by myself over here or do you want to come over, big boy? Oh, I'll come over. Okay. Max is gonna get up off his throne. You always want me to come over there because you think it's a better shot and then your arms just get in front of me and it- Okay, go, and don't come over there. No, I don't want your you. arms and then you get mad at me I don't. It. I don't it's want like, you. You started all of it. No, but this is not, come on. I'll keep my arm out of the way, okay? So what you want to do is you want to <laughs> take the scissors. No, I'm kidding. So just spread the little guy out. And just use this, this, uh, what I call this? Backbone. Use the backbone as your guide. Snip. And yes, there's gonna be a little crunching. And that's okay. Unless you're not okay with crunching. 
like that. See, and there's gonna be little, little baby, little bits of blood. That's all right. Everything's okay. This is called cooking. If you weren't sure, and if you don't want to do this, by all means, find a butcher that'll do it for you. You're gonna have to go to a, I think, a decent market. I'm not sure that some of these supermarket places are gonna do it. You probably have to go to a proper butcher. There you go. That's your backbone. Now, what do we do with this? Chance. We save it for, for? delicious stock. Or yes, at a boy. It's exactly what we do. So now here's the guy. It's kind of gross. Oh, just in my hands a bit. Everything, doesn't he? Chance is such a good boy. I've learned a lot. He really. <laughs> Let's dry this out a bit. No big deal. Okay. So now we we turn the guy over, and here's what you've got. You'll notice that he's he's still relatively plump and rotund, which is not what we want. What we want is to flatten him out, so you can go like this where you can take your hands and you can go like this. Crunch, there we go. So I call this leveling the chicken playing field, okay? So now what you're gonna have is you're gonna have a chicken that the breast is essentially the same level as the thighs. These will now cook at the same time. Because when your chicken's like this and you're trying to cook them, you can see how this is gonna cook faster. It's higher up in the oven, the heat rises. The thighs get less attention from the heat. All right, so now what we wanna do is now we're gonna give this kid, I'll turn it back. We're gonna start to give him some of this marinade that we made. And that will look like this. So just gonna paint them nicely this way. Let me change to a, what's this thing called? A, 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 a cooking brush. Could use a paintbrush. I used to use paintbrushes, but I found that the little fibers would come out and you'd find them in your food and you don't want that. So get this part nice, everything here that you can see. I'm gonna turn them in a second, but now I'm gonna take them. So let's just transfer our buddy. Excuse me while I flip them over like that. Get rid of this. Now we come back and now we're finishing. Work it in well, cover them well. Okay, when he's nicely covered, throw this baby in the fridge and give him as long as you can. I'd say two, three hours is great, and then we'll be back. Okay, so before we put the chicken on, understand what's happening here. This side is hot, this side is not. I'm gonna cook the chicken face down here a few minutes, face up a few minutes, then move it over here, shut the lid, and let it cook like an oven without the heat screaming away. It's called indirect cooking over on this side. So now we'll bring our chicken. And I've sprayed it so it won't stick, hopefully. And on we go. Beautiful. This is the opportunity for the chicken to get some nice color on it. And that's what we want. Cooking it over the flame like this, a whole chicken, even spatchcock, is going to be too much. And you'll just burn up the outside. Nobody wants that. So a couple minutes, some sort of medium-ish heat. Maybe three, four minutes, and then it'll come back to the other side. Okay, it's been a few minutes, so let's just give it a little 45 degree turn. Yikes, yikes, Ay chihuahua. You know, they make these things called tongs. Thinking about checking them out, I hear good things about them. All right, two more minutes, three more minutes, we'll turn them over. It's time to flip it. Before I do, this is what was left of the marinade on the baking sheet, and I don't want to lose it. I mean, yes, I have more saved, but come on. Use what you got, man. Smoke them if you got them. Now we'll just get our kid and we'll go one, two, three. Oh, could that be any prettier? Ooh. Could it? Somebody tell me. No. Thank you. Thank you. And remember the marinade that we saved back? Somebody. Yes. Thank you. Now we're going to put it on. I'm not saying we're doing this because we're not, but do you know how good this is going to end up being? Like in a taco or something? Shred it up in a salad? So just like that first side couple minutes little turn then she comes over here to live gently and finish cooking but i don't want those flames there so let's let that subside for a sec i feel like one of those things what are those things um that drinking bird oh yeah like the little it had the weight in yeah. the <laughs> all right so one more turn this guy, now that it's hot, I'll use these spatulas. Great, three minutes, four minutes. Now we cook them indirect. Okay, it's time. He's getting real pretty too. So we'll get him here, we'll bring him over to this side, and we'll let him ride here with the lid shut till he or she is about 160 uh, degrees. It'll continue to cook a little more, rise up, but it's gonna be great. Okay, so we've got about five minutes left. Look how gorgeous it's getting. I, I turned them this way because the breasts needed a little bit more proximity to the heat. 
The thighs are done, it's looking fantastic. This is the time though to throw a couple lemons on. So two cut lemons and on we'll go. We'll give them a little color, a little gorgeousness, sweeten them up a bit. We'll squeeze that on our chicken when it's all ready. But boys, I'd say if you want, you could uh, go to the other side, sit up, and I'll be bringing this kid off in a couple minutes. And when it's ready, it's ready, and it looks like that. Snap! But wait, don't stop there, because there's also some gorgeous lemon to be had with it. And another one. Jeez Louise. And how about a little of the extra sauce for dipping? Tell me, tell me, somebody tell me that it doesn't look amazing. So if you're funny, somebody would have said, that doesn't look amazing. But it does look amazing. Lemons are steaming. See this? This is how you know that the chicken is given up the ghost. It just, when it just pulls off like that, it's just meant to happen. There's a thigh here. Look, Max, my favorite part. The thigh. You're the thigh guy. I am. Okay, I just want you to try and check out this juiciness. Look at this. Do you see this? Gosh, that bite. Do you have any idea? It's just so tender in my fingers, but I want this. Just a little bit more of that marinade. <laughs> lemon forward. Smash me in the face with a lemon. Mm. The zest, the juice, the lemon grass. Holy S. This might be some of the most tender, juicy chicken we've ever made here, fellas. Damn it, and you can do this. Learn how to spatchcock. Or have it done, but really it's nothing. Just do it. And then just take your time. Let it do its thing. That's all I've got. I've got a whole bunch of chicken that I need to eat right now that these boys need to eat. So I'll say goodbye. Thanks for hanging out with us. Don't make the same thing all the time. Go to shopstcg.com to get our merchandise. Go to thecookingguy.com. Pre-order my next cookbook, Sam the Cooking Guy, between the buns. We're going to call it Sam the Cooking Guy up the ass, but my publisher wouldn't go for it.